giving you an opportunity to get the full story from the people who tell it best. This is Mediacom News Leaders. and welcome to Mediacom News Leaders. Thanks for watching, I'm Carol Kelly. Joining us today from the Cedar Rapids Fire Department, we've got Shemay Farley. Shemay, welcome. Hi, thank you. So if you're a woman and you've ever thought of being a firefighter, you've got a perfect opportunity here. We've got the Young Women's Fire Academy. Talk to us about that. Yes, we uh, started the fully involved Young Women's Fire Academy uh, two years ago. This will be our third year. It's for girls ages 15 to 21. Uh, for a week-long camp uh, to experience what we do as firefighters. Tell us a little bit about that, why it's important to have an academy for young women. Um, it's important to, to see somebody that looks like you doing something that's traditionally uh, a male-dominant field. It kind of opens up endless possibilities. It shows as children we get involved with uh, things that we experience and leads us to a career. And we want to give these girls an opportunity to experience something they never thought was possible. Have there, obviously, you've said it's more a male-dominated industry. Can you tell us a little bit about the reasoning behind, you know, creating this event? Uh, the originally, we had uh, the five female firefighters of Cedar Rapids uh, got together and wanted to form a camp and an academy of what did we wish we had when we were growing up? Who could help guide us and show us what we were interested in? And this kind of formed the Fully Involved Academy. So you said third year of this uh, Young Women's Academy. Can you tell us a little bit about what you've learned or maybe some of the feedback you've received? Oh, you know, this camp has uh, gone through every expectations that we've had. It, all the feedback has been positive. We've had parents tell us that their, their daughters have come back so excited, didn't know what they wanted to do, and now they have a direction that they want to go to. We've seen young girls that have come in, started off with, my parents signed me up, I don't know what we're going to do, <laughs> to leading the evolutions at the end of the week and just talking and making lifelong friends. And we're still in contact with quite a few of them now. Tell us about, what's the, the process like? What does the week look like? Uh, the week looks like that we start off with bringing them in, sh telling them what we're gonna do for the week. And we get them fitted with gear, and we run through our self-contained breathing apparatus, get them used to it, and just done, doing some evolutions where they're, they're wearing all the gear, they're wearing the masks, and they're kind of just start, starting off. And from day one, you are hands-on, you're going through tools and equipment that you see firefighters use that might be a little uh, intimidating, and we just take the time and let them go through and, and use it and show them tricks of the trade. As a, a woman firefighter, we're a little different, we're built differently, we do things differently we're a little shorter and so it kind of shows them that they can do this job just a different technique of doing it as you progress through the week can you tell us about some of the stuff that they could do or maybe they want to just watch <laughs> yes um, as we said they get into uh, SCBAs then we do hose handling flowing water they ride the fire truck you'll climb a ladder, aerial ladder. Anything that we do as firefighters, they're gonna do. They will uh, get go to the junkyard and do uh, tear apart cars. And at the end, we actually have a live fire simulator that they can stand outside and spray water into a, a fire simulator. Yes. Tell us about who um, is the, the person that is able to participate. What, what's the requirements? Basically, all you have to do is be 15 to 21 years of age, uh, female. It's $30. You can uh, apply online. We do have uh, some scholarships to help those that have uh, some budgetary constraints that, that are thinking maybe they couldn't do it. Just apply online. Tell us about um, if, if there have been some young women who have gone through the process and then have actually joined the fire department? Oh, yes. We actually have had one that has joined Ankeny Fire Department. Uh, we've had several that have gotten their EMT. We have two girls currently going through our hiring process. They've passed the, phys uh, the written and is going to the physical. Tell us about the specifics of this year's Young Women's uh, Fire Academy. It starts uh, July 29th and goes till August 2nd. It'll be from 8 8.30 in the morning till 3.30. Uh, just a week long of camp. And where should someone go to get registered? Uh, go online at the Cedar Rapids uh, Fire. For fantastic, place. all right. Good luck with that. Young Women's Fire Academy coming up at the end of the month. Yes. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. This has been Mediacom News Leaders, your opportunity to get the full story from the most reliable sources exclusively on Mediacom News Leaders.